This is Canthalus, and I just got a new cell phone, so I'm going to take a bit of a break from the Minecraft tutorials and do maybe a few uh, cell phone related tutorials. So in this one, I'm going to go over how to make a custom ringtone. And to start out with, need a song to cut up into a ringtone. So looking around for some free music, here at Gemendo, got a lot of stuff that's uh, Creative Commons licensed, so it's free to use. And I found uh, this artist here, the Zero Project, has some really cool stuff, and from the Fairy Tale 2 album, I uh, found a song that I think a little clip of it would make for a pretty epic ringtone. The song is called The Defeat of the Demon King. And uh, here, just play just a little bit here that I'm thinking of cutting into a ringtone. Alright, so get some cool bagpipe kind of sound going on in there. So, first off, gonna need to download this song. And got spots to make a donation and stuff, but gonna go ahead and download here. And there we go. Then I'm gonna open this up in Audacity. This is the homepage for Audacity. It's a open source, free to use audio editor. So I'm gonna pick up the latest beta version here. And I'm running Windows 7, uh, but if whatever operating system you're using, it should pick that up and give you the link right here to download it. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, uh, grab the installer, and go ahead and install this. And then I'm going to open up the little sound file that we just downloaded in there. So here we are with Audacity uh, 1.3.13 beta, newly installed. Going to go ahead and open up our file. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. I've got two monitors going, so I'm just going to drag it in from the other monitor and plop it in here. So there we go opens that up. It was a nice mp3 file. So here we go. And if you're not familiar with audio editors, this is what sound files look like. So the bigger the lines here, the louder it is in that section. So I was looking at about the 3 minutes and 10 second or so mark. So I'm going to click in here, hit the spacebar to make sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, it seems to be about right. But I'm going to zoom in just so that I can make sure that I'm in the right spot. So I'm going to go up here. There's a little magnifying glass. I'm going to click on that and then go back to the area that I'm looking at and click that a few times to zoom in here. Then go back to the selection tool. Kind of looks like an eye or like that little blinking bracket that's there in uh, like a Word document or something. So I'm going to go back over here and go back a little bit in our sound file and look for just the spot where I want to start our ringtone. <laughs> Let's see, maybe just a little bit further in. Trying to get past that kind of heavy downbeat and right into where the uh, new little section there starts. That's pretty close. Trying to get rid of that heavy sound right at the beginning. You don't have to, it's kind of a matter of preference. But see if you can find just the spot to start just where you want. Yeah, somewhere about there. Then I'm going to go forward and select, kind of dragging it across here. And ringtones, on most phones, they'll let you be about 30 seconds. So started mm, just after 3 minutes, 12 seconds. So going to need to end at about 3 minutes, 42 seconds. Right about here. And now with this area selected, going to do File, Export Selection. And... Go ahead and, I guess, pop that right on my desktop. And it fills in all the metadata stuff that was there. This should be just all filled out from whatever your source file is. So you can mess with this if you want, but I'm not going to. So there we go. We've got our MP3 file. And for most situations, we're ready to go just with that. But I'm going to open up iTunes and get it ready for an iPhone. So here we are. I've got iTunes open. And here's the little file that we just saved over here. I'm uh, going to drag that and drop it in, because we're going to need to convert it to a different format. So I'm going to do here, just click on it, and with the right click options, see right now it's a create mp3 version, and that's not quite what I want. So I'm going to have to go into uh, the properties, yeah there we go, edit preferences, and import settings, because this will be what it will allow you to uh, convert to in the right-click menu. And I want an AAC file. 
So I'm going to do the AAC encoder right here. Leave it at high quality. You can lower this if you want. Uh, do a custom and bring this down to 64 kbps. That'd be fine for a ringtone if you're really tight on space. But I'm not that tight on space, so I'm just going to leave it here at the default at 128. Hit OK and OK. So now, when I right click here, it says create AAC version. That's what I'm going for. So I'm going to do that. And then, need to change this just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Show in Windows Explorer and take this file and rename it from M4A to M4R. .M4R is the ringtone format that iPhones use and it's the same as the AAC file, it's just a little bit different ending so that iTunes knows that it's a ringtone and not a song. So I'm going to do that edit and it's going to say, are you sure that you want to change the extension? I'm going to say yes. Now then, I'm going to delete these two from iTunes. Go ahead and remove those and move the files to the recycle bin. Now, with a little bit of luck, when I double click on this, it has brought it in. It's brought it in as a ringtone. It's now here in the ringtones folder. And that's all there is to it for bringing it in. Next time you sync up your iPhone, it'll be right there as one of the things you can use. You might have to go in when your iPhone shows up over here and on the left there and go into the options. Make sure that you're set to sync ringtones. As for how to actually get your ringtone onto your phone, that varies from phone to phone. I'm going to show at least one example using my new phone. It's an AT&T's Motorola Atrix. So here I've plugged it in, plugged my uh, phone in to my computer with the USB cable that came with it, and this is viewing the insides of the phone as, basically as if it were just a little USB drive or something. So I've set up here under the media folder, I made a ringtones folder, and I've put in a bunch of other ringtones that I have made in there. So now, in order to get our new ringtone in there, just going to take it from over here on the desktop, since it's already an mp3 file. I'm just going to drag it and drop it right into the ringtones folder. And it copies over, and there it is. Now, on some phones, you might need to put in a micro SD card and put it in here and make a ringtones folder and put it onto that micro SD card and then put that into your phone. It varies from phone to phone, but that's the general idea on how to make a ringtone and put it onto your phone. Hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a ringtone and get it onto your phone. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Um, the problem is, since there's so many different kinds of phones out there, I don't know about, well, quite a few of them, so since things vary a bit from phone to phone, you might have to just kind of experiment a little bit, especially with the step of putting the ringtone onto your phone. But you can at least ask a question, and maybe one of the other people who sees this video will also know, and they can answer your comment. So in any case, I um, invite you to check out Gemendo, get some free songs to use, and check out Audacity, a nice free software to use to cut up your audio file into a ringtone. This has been Canthless, and I hope to have some more of these videos out in addition to the Minecraft videos. So if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Otherwise, just keep checking back, and I hope to have some more videos out soon.